Playing around with this first gen again. So you guys already seen, or I guess I shouldn't say that. Here's the run of the stock turbocharger as it is today, horsepower wise. All right, so you've seen that run, um, horsepower wise. It's basically nothing different other than I did play with the pump just a tiny little bit. We'll get into that in another video. But we are gonna pull this H1C off and put, well, technically another H1C, but we're gonna put an HX35 on it. Um, so we're gonna go from the turbine, or the turbine and compressor wheel the same size, just a different exhaust housing. It's a 12 centimeter housing. We are gonna put this one on, which is still actually technically an H1C, but it's an HX35, it's basically the same thing. An early one, not a later one. Uh, we're gonna put this on and see what we get difference wise. Cause that is a very common thing. Basically this truck as it stands right now is pretty much most of the trucks on the road. It's got a fuel pin in it. It's got, um, a, 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 it's got a fuel pin in it. It's got govern spring in it. And now we're gonna put an HX35 on it. So that is pretty much 90% of these trucks on the road, I would say, maybe not 90, 50% anyway. We'll see what kind of power it makes, what the difference is. Like, is it worth it if you're at this horsepower? Is it worth taking this turbocharger off and putting that on? What's the difference? Well, guess, I guess we're gonna find out. <clears throat> All right, so we got the turbo swapped out. Now we kind of did this a little bit dirty. I didn't change some of the gaskets and stuff just because we're just, this is only going on for testing purposes. Um, so we do not have the wastegate hooked up. I would recommend to hook the wastegate up. Don't leave the wastegate unhooked. I'm not gonna get into it. Just don't leave it unhooked. For this truck, for what we're doing, I knew that a gate wasn't gonna open, so I didn't hook One it up. One or two pulls on a tiny little yeah. So we're gonna do some runs, see what we get out of it, and then we'll come back to you. I made more boost, made 20 pounds. Oh, cool. Before it was making 15, so that's it's definitely moving more air. Probably where the extra whatever horse came from too then. And the EGTs are cool. 10 and a bit. EGTs higher? No, 100, 100, almost 100 lower. All right, guys, so we got that video done. So going from the H, uh, H1C to the HX35, for the price, especially if you're buying a used one, um, definitely well worth it in my opinion. Now, something that you do need to note is when you buy one, um, you will have to, not all trucks, but most trucks, you're gonna need to shorten this pipe up a little if it doesn't have an aftermarket exhaust. Now, most of you guys are gonna have an aftermarket exhaust. If you don't, I would put one on it. This truck does not have one because I'm not gonna spend the money to put one on for what we're doing. But just thought I would mention that, that pipe kind of does fight with you a bit. And then you will have to rotate your compressor housing, if it's originally off a of second gen, because it's in the wrong spot, not a huge deal. And please, please, please make sure you hook up the wastegate. It does not need to be pinned shut. You're not gonna make more power. It just, we'll, we'll get into that in another video. But it does make a difference, spools a little bit quicker, and make a little bit more power. So if you like this video, check out this one.